Yeah, no, it's, I mean, there's, there's a very clear pipeline that happens. And I think it's actually really great that you're sharing it because, yeah. you know, the worst thing is when people pretend this is like an amazing lifestyle and it's right. like I had every no. option available to me. I don't condone like girls doing OnlyFans mm -hmm. or anything. Like I do it, but like I just do you it feel, because it allows me support. And it also allows me to be like a full time, I am a single mom. Mm -hmm. um, no child support, no benefits, yeah. nothing like that. Mm -hmm. um, and like it allowed me to stop prostituting because like obviously I was yeah. like a prostitute. So. I'm really grateful that you shared that. That's I think it takes a lot to talk about that. No, no, for and sure. And this like this is why I like to come on like shows and stuff to spread like what I've been through. I also want to be clear that Kayla shared that she had been sober um, from drinking and abusing any drugs for three years, which I thought was amazing. And I really encouraged her in that direction because she needs to hear that she's she's doing well. She is doing well. She's taking steps to make her life better, at least. And she very much understands that she is leaning on OnlyFans, not because she thinks it's the right decision. It's not the right decision.